Hey guys, it is Katie Cakes here, and uh, today I'm going to be doing a book haul. Um, some of them I got used from a person, um, and then the rest I got from uh, Fair's Fair here, which is a secondhand bookstore. Um, all of these books cost me $80. I think I got 40 books. Um, so quite a few books for 80 bucks, <laughs> considering most of the books are like $20 each. So I think I did pretty good. Um, so the first book I have is The Pleasure Zone by Cario. I've never heard of this book, but, um... The title intrigued me, and it kind of looks like, um, it'll be like a three-way, or like a love triangle, I should say. Um, but yeah, I figured I would check it out, see what I thought. And then I got, uh, Richer Than Sin by Megan March. Um, a lot of the covers just looked really good, so I kept them. And then I have Mr. Tonight by Kendall Ryan. Um, I know this author, but I haven't read them. But I just keep hearing a lot about them, so um, I decided to keep the book and check it out. Of course, I will have to find out if it is the first in a series or not. But... And then I have Flash Burned by Clarissa Fox. Again, I've heard of this author, but I haven't read any of their books. And then I got The Sinner's Club by Kate Pierce. Um, the person that I got these books from has a lot of Kate, Kate Pierce, so I figured she must be a pretty good author, so I kept them all so that I could try them. So, yeah, The Sinner's Club kind of looks like it'll be a more erotic book, which I like, so. And then I have Raw Desire by Kate Pierce, and Simply Sinful by Kate Pierce, uh, Simply Carnival by Kate Pierce, Simply Wicked by Kate Pierce. Uh, Simply Sexual by Kate Pierce. Simply Scandalous by Kate Pierce. And Tempting a Sinner by Kate Pierce. So, some of these books are kind of dirty. But, um, other than that, they look to be in pretty good condition. But, um, all of these are Kate Pierce, so I figured she must be a pretty good author if she kept them all. Um, and then I was finally able to finish my 100 series by Cass Morgan today. Um, I got this book for $5.50 from Fair's Fair, um, so now I own all five of them, which means I can start reading them. So, that's pretty exciting. Um, and then I was able to get some more of my Opal Karu books that I was wanting. Um, I, I should have almost all of his or her books now. I'm not really sure if Opal Karu is a man or a woman. <laughs> oh, okay. That's how many books they have. So, no. I don't have anywhere near close to all of their books. <laughs> Um, but yeah. So she's a woman. Good to know. Okay. Um, but I have Heat by Opal Karu. I hope I say their name right. I have Riding Steel by Opal Karu. And then these two I've been looking for for a really long time, but I didn't want to order them from Chapters. I would if I would have had to, but she had them, so. 
um, my best friend's stepfather and stepbrother mine. Um, I kept looking at this book at chapters, but I never picked it up. So this is Passion Island, also by Carrie. Carrie. Caro. So, I have it now. And then I got Dirty Rich Obsession by Lisa Renee Jones. Pretty thick book. Um, and I got Make Me, the complete novel by Beth Carey. Uh, heard of this author, haven't read any of their books. Um, so I will be reading it. And the fact that it says the complete novel makes me think that there's more than um, one book in here called Make Me. Uh, I don't know. Make Me Forget. Make Me Tremble. So maybe they're like a bunch of novelas into one book. Either way, got that one. And then I also got uh, Match Point by Indigo Bloom. Again, another author that I've heard of a lot, um, but I haven't read. Um, so now I have one of their books. I think I actually have another one, but I can't recall what it's called at the moment. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then I got a couple more, or I got, yeah, I got a couple more uh, Rachel Van Dyken books. Um, so I got The Wager and The Bet, both by Rachel Van Dyken. Um, this was eight and this was six fifty. Um, they look to be in like perfect condition. Um, so yeah, heard of this author? Haven't read them yet. I have one of her books that's signed, but this now makes four of the books that I own by her. So excited to start reading her. Um, and then I got another book for the series I'm collecting, uh, Beautiful by Christina Lawrence. So this is Beautiful Bastard. I got it for $11 at Fair's Fair. Um, it's in perfect condition. Um, so I think this makes six that I have now. So I'm only missing uh, Beautiful Stranger, Beautiful Bitch, Beautiful Bombshell, Beautiful Beginning, and Beautiful Beloved. So, not too bad. And then I got uh, Shacking Up by Helena Hunting. Um, I also have Pucked Love, and it's signed. Um, I've wanted this, like, series that she's doing for a really long time. So, I still have a lot to get in this series, but now I have two to start. Um... And then I was able to pick up more of the uh, Jody Allen Malpas books that I was wanting. Um, so two of them came from the box I got from this woman, and then three of them came, came, I got from Fair's Fair. So I got uh, His True Queen and uh, The Controversial Princess. So I wanted these books for quite a while. Um, the chapters either didn't have them or I didn't pick them up when they had them there. And then I also got the One Night Trilogy by her. So, uh, One Night Unveiled, One Night Promised, and One Night Denied. So this was $8.50, 10 and $8.50. All from Fair's Fair. They're in pretty okay condition. This kind of bugs me that they're different page colors, but that's okay. Um, and then another series I got from this woman. Um, she has the entire series. Um, so I figured they must be good. So I kept them so I could try them. Um, this is the Lingerie series by Penelope Sky. So the f first book is um, Muse in Lingerie and then Beauty in Lingerie. I also like that they all have um, heels. Uh, Lady in Lingerie, 
queen in lingerie. Empress in lingerie. Fantasy in lingerie. Desire in lingerie. Sassy in lingerie. Divine in lingerie. Foxy in lingerie. Fine in lingerie. Uh, princess in lingerie. And dancer in lingerie. Um, and then at the back of this book, since this is the 13th book, it says that number 14 is coming out and it is called Fighter in Lingerie. So I figure if I, um, if I like this series, then I will buy number 14 and continue it. Um, but yeah, I found a couple new authors to me that I have never heard of or that I just haven't read that I have heard of. Um, but yeah, I got all of those books for 40 or $80. Um, so I think that was pretty good. Um, and I just wanted to update you guys. I am going to be attempting to make a video every two to three days, um, so that I'm more vocal in the, um, booktube, um, community. But I also do pop videos. <laughs> like, you guys see me unboxing pops. Um, I do have, I think, two more pop -a boxes coming, um, and, uh, because I got all of these books for $80, um, and I have my wedding coming up in June, I am going to be, once again, canceling my, uh, Romance Real book box for the month of, um, uh, March, uh, but I will try again the following month. Um, but wedding is the more priority right now because I'm getting married in, like, almost less than four months. So, now it's coming down to the money crunch time. So, but I will continue to try and do more videos. I will have, I'm doing the Romanceopoly, um, and then I have TBRs and, uh, wrap-ups and book hauls, pop-in-a-box unboxings, reviews, I've got tons of stuff, tags, tons of stuff that I can use for, uh, videos, so, uh, hopefully you guys will be, um, going along with my journey with me, um, if you haven't noticed over the last couple weeks, I have been producing videos every two to three months, or two to three months, two to three days, um, so I am trying to continue on that, um, hope you guys are enjoying these videos, um, if you are, give it a like. Uh, subscribe down below if you want to continue my journey with me. Um, tell me if you're competing in, or not competing, but, um, participating in the Romanceopoly, uh, challenge this year. And if you are, tell me what your picks were, or what books you've read for it so far. So far, I have finished reading 2x2 two by, two by Nicholas Sparks and Off the Clock by Ronnie Lauren, and I'm currently reading by the hour by Ronnie Lauren which is the second book for that series um and then I still have two more that I had rolled for and that is uh The Nightingale by Christine Hanna I believe and um uh, the Chaos Walking trilogy by Patrick Ness so those are the other two uh, books that I have to read for my February TBR Romanceopoly. Um, so yeah, I will be seeing you guys for sure at the end of February, but hopefully before that. Anyway, bye guys. See you guys later.